hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is sky tech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to create a simple business card for yourself or for your client so we're going to use elementor and elementor pro to be able to make this um, business card come to life so this is how the business card looks like and um it have you know a little bit of functionality like um somebody can be able to click on the whatsapp and then the person will be able to directly chat with you on whatsapp also you the person can be able to send you a message by clicking on this button and then also you know directly go to your office or anywhere you set the person to go to by clicking on this button over here now you can um, enter some small details over here just for people to know and then also showcase some of your works that you've done over there so this is a digital business card okay and then they can also um, you can also showcase some social icons other social icons also over there over here for people to um, directly you know follow you on social media platforms now that is not just all um, another functionality of this particular business digital business card is that um, somebody can be able to click on this share button over here and when the person click on this share button there is going to be um, a pop-up um, share um, contact over here which have the QR code um, for your business or for your um, for your business card and then also some other um, share icons also over here so that people can be able to share your business card with other people for you to get more customers now um, this is all done by using Elementor Pro and then Elementor so um, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to get Elementor Pro and then also you can be able to get this um, template on my website if you don't want to design this whole thing okay so um, that is basically how the business card really looks like and then it is not just um, on the you know desktop it is also mobile responsive so if you look at how it looks like on mobile it's also uh, mobile responsive you can be able to you know share it on mobile because most of the people will be using it on mobile so that is it so you can click over here and then the share um, contact will pop up over here for people to pop up uh, people to contact you and then they can also click on this one and then they'll directly chat you on your mobile um, on your whatsapp the same thing applies to the email and then also to the directions to your office or your um you know wherever your your, your business is so basically that is how um the digital business card looks like and i'm going to show you step by step how i created this thing using elementor and elementor pro so if you're new over here please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel um so that we anytime we drop video you can be able to get access to that video now without wasting my time let's jump into the video hey okay, guys so first of all you have to create a page okay so um, i've created a page already and i'm editing it with elementor just like we do it all the time now the next one is um now before we even start i just want to say this we are using elementor flexbox and then um nested element so if you haven't activated it please go back and then go and activate it so if you go to your dashboard over here you go to elementor you go to settings and then make sure that you activate elementor Flexbox container and then nested element. So you go to features over here and then you scroll down, you see Flexbox container over here. Make sure that you activate it. And then when you scroll down, you see nested nested element over also over here. Make sure you activate that one also. And then make sure that you click on save changes. So if you have done that, then we can continue. So um what we're gonna do is um we just like I said this is my my page that i've created now what we have to do is do some few settings for on the page and then we go so what first of all what we are going to do is um make sure that i click on settings over here okay page settings so we're going to set up the page settings and then on the page layout change from default to elementor canvas so we're going to use elementor canvas and then that will eliminate uh, the header and the footer from our um, you know our canvas over here okay so we're gonna get 
a full page for us to do anything that we want to do it on it so the next one that we're going to do is we're going to um you know bring a layout which is the container so i'm going to click on this plus icon and i'm going to use this um, particular layout over here which is the direction column okay the the column direction is going to be like a vertical or something like that um so basically this one over here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this edit column over here and then um i'm going to change this one to it's it's supposed to be um box over here and then also the minimum height i'm going to give it 100 vh vh okay so make sure that i give it 100 vh over here okay so you just drag it through like this it's going to be like 100 vh okay and then with this um width over here make sure that you give it 500 okay so you're going to have something like this um your content is going to be in the middle over here and that is it now um what we will also do is um we give it a background so we go we're going to go to style over here and then um we'll give it you know a background color so the background color that we're going to give um let's see what color are we giving this one over here so we're going to give it a color of um d d d so just click over here and then i'm going to um, remove this one over here and then just say d e d e d e all right guys so after giving it that color now what next do we have to do so now what we want to do is we want to bring another container inside this container okay so there'll be an inner container and we're going to click over here and then we'll drag this container inside um something like this now first of all we're going to pick the main container over here and then we want to create space at the top and bottom so we're going to go to the advance over here and then with the padding we're going to unlink the padding over here and then um, we'll give it a top of 50 and then also a bottom of 50 so that there will be space at the top and bottom and then now that we have this container in it we'll um, give the container a background so i'm going to click on this place over here and i'm going to give the container um, a background so with the background i'm just going to give it this color code over here so i'm going to select the classic and then pick a color code which will be um also 32004d okay this is a color code that i'm going to give this one over here now as you can see that is how it will be so now what we're going to do is um we're going to give this one i'm going to put an image over here okay so um i'll click on this plus icon over here and then i'm going to drag in an image so i'm going to drag in this image widget over here and then it's going to be like this now i'm going to set um the image i'm going to choose any image that i want okay or the image that you want to use for your um you know website now make sure that the image is um you know at least square okay because we're going to what um make sure that all the sizes are the same like a square image okay so i'm going to pick this one over here because we're going to make it rounded image okay so we're going to pick this one over here and then we'll go to the um, style over here and then um with a radius we will say maybe um 100 okay that will make it to a uh, round so 100 is maybe all sizes or all corner radius to be what 100 and that will give it to it that round then okay now we can go ahead and even you know um did that decrease or increase the width okay so how you want it um you can do it that way so just gonna say maybe 20 20 will be fine or maybe 25 for um let's say 25 25 is, is okay it's quite okay for me now i want to create you know a, a space at the top and then um, the bottom so i'm going to click on this container over here and then i'll go to advance also and then um, i'll unlink the pattern up for this container and then i'll create some space so i'll give it a 50 at the top and then a 50 at the bottom something like this 
now um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring in some text widget and then you know some heading over here so i'm gonna bring a heading rather not a text widget so i'll click on this um widget icon over here which will open the widget panel for me and then i'll drag in um, the heading widget over here so i'm going to have something like this now depending on your color or your global you know font and color that will what will make this one um, the color that you're seeing over here but um, i'm going to what i'm going to just give um, style it in a different way so it will be it will be nice so with this one i'm going to give it um you know a name so let's see the name that we gave to this business card so we say james doe james doe i'm going to put it in the middle over here now i'm going to go to style and then i'll style this one the way i want it so um i'm going to give it white okay and then i'll come to typography and then i'll change the typography from um varilla round to Montserrat. so i'm going to use Montserrat or or true Montserrat. Serrat. okay so this one over here and then um with with the width i'm going to give it like um 700 okay and then um, instead of 40 45 i'm going to say maybe 40 so 40 will be fine for me and then i'll duplicate this one i'm going to duplicate this one and then i'll write web designer comma kitek digital okay so now that i've written this one i'm going to style this one also so i'm going to go to style over here and then this one i will change um the size and make it like maybe a 16 or so or uh, 18 depending on how i want it 18 and then with the bold i'm going to give it the light um you know uh, transform um the light width okay so then i'll uh, make sure that the space between this one is, is limited okay so now this one basically is um is from the when you go to the properties of the container so when you go to container over here and then you go to layout okay and when you scroll down you see that there is a gap between elements we have 20 over here okay so if you want to remove this 20 you can just remove it but when you remove it it applies to everything over here okay but i just want this particular space over here to to go so what i will do is I'll, I'll just either bring this one up so i'll just reduce the um give it a negative you know pattern or margin okay depending so i'll go to the advance of this so i'll click on this one and go to the advance of the um of the heading and then um I'll, I'll unlink the margin and then give it a top negative of 20 it will drag it up or it will push it up for me which i think this one is quite okay for me so now um i think i'm good to go now what i want to do is um i want to also you know if you look at this business card over here um let's take a look at the business card that we are creating we have this one two three you know um, social icons over here okay and we want to bring that one also so what we are going to do is i'm um, going to do same so we will click on this um grab icon over here and then we search for social icons okay now we can drag this social icons and then bring it here or we can just forget it and then bring a different you know, we want this one to fall on a different um, um, container to be in a different container so what we're going to do is just click on this group icon and then drag in a container okay so we're going to create a different container so i'm going to what i'm going to just close this one and then click here and then um you know bring a different container so i will bring it's not really working i don't know why it's not working so what i'm going to do is i will bring uh, my navigator over here and then i'll just duplicate this container okay i'll just duplicate this container to be like this one over here and as you can see there is what there is a gap over here so i'm going to go to the main container over here 
and then go to the layout of it then change this one from um 20 to zero okay and then as you can see the gap is gone so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on this um container over here and then i'll delete everything in the container so i'm going to delete everything in this particular container so i'll delete this one also and then i'll delete this one also and then i'll come over here and then go to um the style and then you know just remove the um how do you call it the the um the color okay the background color well i'll give it like a, a white full white okay which is okay for me now that i have um you know the full white over there now i can go ahead and then even with the with the um with the pattern also i can go ahead and then remove the pattern from here so i'm going to remove the pattern so that there will be no pattern over here so now um, what i'm going to do is to bring i can either bring the social widget straight away or bring another container so i want to bring another container inside so that i can put the social widget in that container okay so now there is an another container inside this particular container so as you can see over here this is the structure so this is the container okay this is the container and there is another container inside it and this particular container is what we are dealing with okay so we're gonna what click over here and then click on this one so we, we want to put a social um you know social icon over there so we're gonna search for social icon and then drag the social icon inside this particular container so as you can see it is inside the what in this particular container now what we're going to do is um we will style it and then push it at the top okay so that is exactly what so if you see this one over here see that this one is basically at the top over here and that is exactly what we want to do so um first of all you need to um set the the icons and the links that you want it to what to set now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set an icon for this one is going to be the the whatsapp button so i'm going to go to all icons over here and then search for whatsapp and i'm going to use this one over here click on insert also um if you see the link over here you can decide to paste your whatsapp link over here the way you want it but i'm using elementor pro okay if you want it to be the same thing you have to um, follow what i'm following i'm using elementor pro okay so if not then if you're not using elementor pro and you're using the normal elementor then um, i think you need to create a whatsapp link and then put it over here okay so i'm using elementor pro and elementor have made it in such a way that you will be able to easily you know um, use actions and other stuff to be able to um, add the whatsapp over there so i'm going to click on the dynamic tags over here okay when i click over here i'll scroll down and then i'll see actions over here uh, i don't know why okay so i'm going to remove this action click on dynamic and then you see there are actions over here now you see this one which says contact url so i'm going to click on it and then i'll click on this ranch icon or the settings icon over here and then it will tell me to select the type so i'm going to select whatsapp okay and then it will say then add your number so then i'll add my number to it okay this is a fake number it's not my number i'll add my number to it so that is what the whatsapp now the same way you can use um for the email okay so this is what the email and then the same way you can use for the email so i'm going to change this one and then go to um, envelope so i'm going to use this one over here and insert it now the same thing we did we're going to click on the dynamic tags um look for look for contact actions and the actions we have contact url and then i'm going to click on the settings icon select this one then i'll say email okay and then i'll enter my email address over there okay so now i'm done with the email now the last one is the the map okay so i'm going to say map i'm going to go to 
here and then i'm going to pick this particular one over here so the location or the direction to um you know my office so now over here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pick paste the link over there so i'm going to go to google and search kitech digital over there and then um definitely i'll pick my google map location so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to go to click on directions over here and as you can see it's giving me directions now this is the particular map that i want okay so i will just copy this particular one over here okay i'll just copy this one over here and i'll come to um come to where i'm i am over here so where i'm designing it now paste the link over here okay as simple as that now i have my three um you know icons set up now what i'm going to do is i want to push it up okay so now with the shape i want the shape to be circle so something like this okay and then i'll go to style now first of all i want to push it up before i go to style so i'll go to advance over here and then with the advance i'll just unlink the margin and then give it a top margin of let's say negative 50 or um, negative 50 is too much so negative 20 or maybe 30 okay so negative 30 is quite okay if you think it's not okay for you you can you know make it anyhow you want it so i'll say 38 is quite okay for me and that is how it's going to be like okay now now let me go to style over here and then change from official colors to custom color and then i'm going to give um you know the primary color to be somehow um you know grayish a little bit of yeah this kind of a color over here and then i'll come to the secondary color and then i can give it either a black or i can give it my um color that i'm run using it to run through which is the um, 32004d okay i can decide to give it oh 32004d 32004d oh 32004d oh guys let me, i'm coming let me just write it somewhere and then copy it 32004d hush copy it and then bring it over here so i'm gonna bring it over here so this is exactly what we want okay i don't know why it was doing all those things on me so this is exactly what we want and then i can you know um sometimes whatever you do the smallest thing you do you just need to publish it so i'm going to just publish this one and then um continue with it so i've updated it i've published it now i can continue with it so as you can see this is how it looks like but what i want it to do is uh, when i want um when you hover on it just like this one over here see when you hover on it we have this color when you hover it yes yeah, so that's exactly what i want so i'm going to what um just go to icon hover over here okay and then change um it, the color so as you can see when somebody hover on it this eye is going to what is going to behave okay so i'm going to go over here and then give the primary color um you know that kind of like this particular color okay this color over here so i'm going to just copy this one and then this one also i'm going to give it white okay so when somebody hover on it i want it to be something like this here yeah. so i think this one is quite okay for me um we are good to go so now what else what else do we need to do we need to create this about me okay so this one over here which says about me so we will come over here and then drag in a text widget inside this um, container and then over here we change it from um the text to about me okay so now 
even with a container we can just um, click on this one and then go to the advanced and then give it like a pattern okay so let me just give it um, a right pattern of 50 a left pattern of 50 and then um, you know just give a top pattern of 20 or maybe 15 okay now because of, we removed the pattern of um, 20 from there we uh, elemental almost have um, the default pattern sometimes is I think it's 20 so because we have that kind of pattern remove it is it I moved up okay so I'm just going to just give it a pattern of the top pattern of um, 15 to make sure that it's in the middle where I want it so I think um, this is quite okay. This is quite okay. So I can update it. Now I can focus on the about me and style it. Okay. So I'm going to go to about me over here and then change this one to our default color, which is the 32004D. Okay. I'm going to change it. Change this one also. Change it. Um, this one also to instead of 45, I'm going to say 35. And then um, with the, um, this one, I'm going to say 600, okay? So about me. And then um, I'll bring a text widget, a text editor widget below here. So we're going to have this text editor widget below over here. And then you can go ahead and install it anyhow you want it. So with this one, instead of um, 300, I'm going to give it like a 400, which is quite okay for me. Now I can come over here and then see what we have over here. So we have um, this, you know, this icons over here. So um, with the icons also, we can just go over here and then search for the icons. So I'm going to search icons and I'm going to bring the icon box. Okay, so I'm going to use icon box. So I'll drag in the icon box over here. And then what I will do is um, I'll just you know delete this one from here and then with this one i'm going to enter my uh, number okay so i'm going to enter my number over here and then i'll say um yeah i'll go install the the, the text so um, what i'll do is i'll just put it this way and then the icon um how do I want the icon? So I'm going to go to the content of the icon. And then with the icon, as you can see over here, the icon is what is rounded. Okay, so over here, I'm going to make it stack. Okay, just like this one, which is round. And then I think, um, yeah, it's quite okay. So I'm going to go to advance over here. And then with this one, I'm going to put it at the bottom. And then um, with the icon, I'll reduce the size. Okay, so with this one, I'll reduce the size to let's say 15. Or oh, 15 is too small, so let's say um, 20. Okay, and then um, don't worry about this one. I'm going to go to the content and then change this one to um, black. Go to typography, change this one to Montserrat over here. I'm going to change it to Montserrat and then um change this one to the 400 and then give this one like a 18 okay so 18 is quite okay and then um let me see the box over here so i'm going to position it center now so this one should be in the middle here so as you can see the middle is what quite fitting it now we can change the icon okay so i'm going to click over here and then just search for mobile okay so i'm going to use this particular one over here and then click on insert so um you can also go ahead and then even you know style it um more the way you want it so with this one i'm going to just give it like 500 yeah so that will be a little bit visible and then um with the with the icon also um i'm going to what, reduce it a little bit so i'm going to say 15 or maybe 
um, 18 okay so 18 will be quite okay and then what else what else just want everything to be perfect before okay okay so um basically i think everything is quite okay quite okay so we can just duplicate this one okay we can duplicate it yeah so we can just duplicate this one and make it like um this one we can also change this one so this one is what um this one is the email okay so we can change this one to the email so this one is envelope we can select um search for envelope put this one over here and then just paste this one over here so um yeah okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to style over here and then go to content over here and then go to um, typography over here and then under capitalize transform capital i'm going to say lowercase so that will change everything to um, lowercase for me so i have you know my email also done now the next one is the the website okay so i'm going to go to here and then um search for globe so i'm going to use this um, globe icon over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste in the website url over here i'll do same go over here to um you know style go to content and then go to typography and then um with a capitalize i'll change it to lowercase so it's gonna be something like this now, as you can see there are spaces over here basically because the spaces um is from the container layout which is particular this one over here okay but if we if we remove this 20 space it means that all these places um we also have what we also not have space but we we can still um you know do so by removing the space okay let's just remove the space so that it's gonna be something like this and then we create space over here so go to the about and then we're gonna create a space over here so give it a top margin of 20 okay or you can even give it like a 40 so that will be much spaces over here and over here um yeah we're not going to create any space over here so i think we are we are good to go we are done now what i want to do is i want to give um small space okay so let's go to the social icon now i want to spacing it up so as you can see the spacing over here just want them to uh, to be um you know spacious enough okay so basically i think like a 35 let me give it like a 35 which is what quite okay so guys as you can see everything is um, really falling in place now the next one is for us to add this a media carousel over here now um go to the grip icon over here and then search for um media okay now as you can see you see if you search for carousel you're going to see this one but i want the media carousel so see this one comes i'm going to drag in um, the media carousel also over here okay also by oh if i like i'll just um put it in a container okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to delete it and then bring a container over here okay and then i'm going to put the media carousel in a container okay or i can even decide to put um this container within this particular container i can put this container within this particular container okay it depends on what i want to do but 
yeah so that yeah so i'm gonna put it in that in that container okay so let me push this one up like this yeah so it's gonna be in this particular container okay so yeah basically like this oh i can just you know just remove this one and then bring it outside the container so i'm just going to bring it it depends on how you want to design your thing yeah anyway each other way it will work so um let's say i want to put it outside this particular container so i'm going to uh, make it like this over here now i can um then i'll bring the the um, the media carousel in this one so i'm going to search for media carousel and then um position it in this one over here so now there are so many media uh, mid uh, slides over here okay but i'm just going to use some few slides some four slides so i'll click on the one number one and then i'll just um, i'll have some media or already prepared over there and then i'll just um, input it in it so that i'll be um, using it as the slice now you can prepare your uh, portfolio works and then you can be showcasing it over there it all depends on what you want to showcase to whoever you want to share your contact with so as you can see over here i have um this one over here so i'm going to put it over here now of course you can link it to what your um the, your the, the 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 website okay since i'm a web designer i can link it to any um you know the particular website that i've what that i've created but what i'm going to do is i want to link it to my portfolio okay so i'm just going to link it to a link over there i want to link it to this particular link so that when somebody um clicks on it it will go to um that link over there so that is exactly what i'm 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 going to set another one also so there are four of them i'm going to set all of them and then this one also i'll give it this particular link the same link because that one will all go to the same place all right guys so as you can see all the um cursor have been what have been set over here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this particular um this particular uh, you know container over here and then i'm going to go to this place um and then um no this place over here okay so let me go to it advance over here and i'm going to unlink the padding over here so that it's going to be something like this okay now also i'll go to the style over here now give it you know a background of white okay the 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 background color of white so that it matches this um you know color over here and then um you see if you look at this one um i don't think it is nice because you cannot see the the whole thing over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to um this also this particular place over here i'm going to go to the the advance of it and then um i'm going to give it you know um a right margin of negative um 80 and then left margin of negative 80 okay so that it's going to showcase everything that i want to showcase now i also go to um, the account over here the, the content over here sorry and then with the height i'm going to give it um 250 okay oh 250 is also too big so let's say 160 okay so 160 is what is quite okay okay so now guys as you can see everything is working perfectly fine now i can go to um the column over here and then go to you know the advance over here and then i am um, with the with the pattern i can give or even with the margin i can link the margin and then give a top of um maybe okay so let me give it a pattern okay so a top of 20 and then a bottom of also what 20 over here so now um, so that there will be a little bit space over here okay so there is you know um this one is what is overflowing so meaning that we need to remove the overflow from it or we need to hide the overflow so if you um scroll down um let me see okay so when you go to the layout over here and then you scroll 
down okay so when you scroll when you go to the um the column okay so we are dealing with the column so go to the column and then um go to layout and then scroll down additional settings over here you see that there is an overflow over here okay so change it from default to hidden okay and as you can see the overflow will be what will be hidden for you so now we are done with this one now the last one that we're going to do is to um, set up our social links at the bottom so as you can see this particular social links is what we want to set at the bottom so to do that we also want to create um you know another container so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the grip icon over here and then drag in the container over here okay so we want to drag in another container over here and then with this one also you um, go to style over here and then give it the same background that we gave to um, the top one over here so that it's going to be like a footer for it so i'm going to copy the um, the color code and then paste it over here and as you can see this is exactly what we will be having and then inside the container i'm going to put in um you know social icons also over there so i'm going to drag in this social icons over here and then um how many social icons do we have over here one two three four five so yeah so i'm going to what um, just add some few ones to it so i'm going to add in instagram so we have um you know facebook um twitter yeah so the last one is i'm going to add maybe linkedin okay so um yeah i'm going to add this one also over there so let me see if okay so basically not linkedin but yeah it's okay so it's just an example for you guys to know that um this is how it's done now what we're going to do is um we're going to make it um our own colors okay so we're going to give it a custom color over here and then let's see the custom color over it's white and then the um the brown color so the main color is white okay and then with the brown um this one is the brown colors over here so now let's go to the content over here and then with this one we want to change it to uh, maybe circle over here okay which is quite okay and now let's go to um the the style over here and then you can change the size okay so um, with the size you can make it like a 15 which you want and then you know you can increase the spacing a little bit now of course you can create space at the bottom now we're going to do use the column okay so we're going to create space for the column so we'll go to um, advance over here and then with a pattern we're going to unlink the pattern and then create a top pattern of um, maybe 20 bottom also 20 okay so that we can have something like this now as you can see guys um our our um you know um digital our digital business card is almost done the next one that we need to do is to bring um the share icon over here and then the pop-up okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to update this one now with the pop-up it is also very simple to create if you are using elementor um elementor pro it is very very easy to create and that is what we are going to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the back end of the um, website so we're going to go to the back end of the website now at the template side we're going to create a template okay a pop-up template so we're going to over on template over here and then select pop-up and then what we're going to do is um we're going to click on add new select the um you know the type of template which is the pop-up and then um maybe i'll say contact share okay and then i'll create um the pop-up okay so um what we are going to do is i'm just going to close this one because i don't need this one now i need to do some few settings for the template okay it's for the pop-up template so i'll click on settings over here 
and then as you can see everything is positioned in the middle over here now i don't want it i want this one to position at the bottom because um, i want it to be what to be at the bottom and then also you can set an entrance you know animation and exit animation for it depending on how you want it so um with the entrance animation i want it to you know um you can decide to set it as fade up or uh, anyhow you want to what you want to set it up so maybe slide up or whatever it is or anyhow you want to set it up okay so it depends on what depends on you so um so let's say this one is what slide up okay and then the exit will be slide down so um let me see okay so slide down okay so slide out down slide in up okay so basically this one and then i'll i'll um just publish it i'm going to save and close i don't want to add it anywhere now what i'm going to do is um i'm going to click on this script icon over here and then start designing my um my pop-up so what i will do is um i'll bring in a container over here okay so this is this is going to be my container now with a container um i'll add a text in it so i'm going to drag in this particular text over here and then say share contact so i'll say share contact and then i'll position it in the middle now um the next thing i also have to do is i also have to give the container um you know an all round pattern okay so i'm going to give it or uh, even a margin if i want so i'll, I'll give it like a 50 all around no i'm not going to give it a margin i'm going to give it um, a pattern 50 all around pattern okay um, um yeah 50 all around pattern which is quite okay so that I, everything that i place in it is going to be in the middle and then i'm i'll, I'll still go ahead and edit the the share contact so i'm going to change this one to this particular color go to typography change it to montserrat montserrat and then you know the um the weight i'm going to give it like a 800 or oh, 800 is too much so let's say 600 and then with this one i'm going to give it 40 so share contact will be like this and then um the next thing is i want to add a social um you know icon so a social share button so i'm going to just search for share buttons and then i'll drag the share buttons underneath this one over here so with this one if you look at it very carefully when we click on the share you see this is how it looks like okay so we have the social share over here and then the qr code too over here so um i'm gonna go straight over here where is it um yeah this one over here and i just edit the share um, social share button so with a social um i'm gonna go to this one which says view okay i'll change it from view to um icon and text to just icon position it in the middle over here um the shape i want it to be round okay yeah basically that is how i want it and i'll go to the style over here and then with the um, colors i'll choose custom colors and then the primary i'm going to give it this primary and then the white at the secondary i'm going to give it to it full white okay so it's going to be something like this okay and then and um, what i'll do is now i'm going to bring my qr code now with a qr code there are so many uh, websites that have free qr code generator that you can be able to use it to generate your qr code but i'm going to use this particular website that is the qr code uh, qr code monkey okay qr code monkey.com that is what i'm going to use so um, what you need to do is just enter your your business card details so the business card that you are creating make sure that you publish it and then copy the link and then bring it over here okay so that's exactly what i did and then you know what i did was just to change the colors of this one so let's say i want to change this one and make it just um, a single color which is all black okay so let's say i want to change it to and make it a single color which is all black 
and then i added a logo over it but let's say i want to remove the the logo okay i want to remove the and then i can click on generate qr code and as you can see this is the new one that it has what it has given me i can download it as a png and as you can see the qr code has been what has um has been generated it's done okay so if i click over here this is the new qr code that has been given to me so that is it so if i come over here and then um i i can drag the qr code into it okay but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to um go ahead and then drag in an image widget over here under the um you know the share a, a contact and then i'll just um choose the image okay so i'm going to choose the image i'm going to drag in the one that we created we just created drag it into it and then i'll select it over here now as you can see this is exactly what it's going to be but it's too big for me so i want to reduce the size a little bit so i'm going to give it like a 250 okay 250 pixel okay so it's going to be uh, pixels to 250 pixels so which is what which is quite okay for me and then um i think everything is good to go now i can go ahead and then update it i don't want to um, link it to anything i just want to uh, save and close it okay so now i have my um i have my you know my pop-up it is done it's ready now i can go back to my uh my my how do you call it my digital business card over here and then add the share link or, um icon to it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to search for share or maybe let me search for icon okay so i'm going to search for icon and then drag in the icon and um on top of this one over here just going to drag in the icon over here or you can even um drag it anywhere that you want to what you want to drag it in so i'm going to drag the icon over here and then click on it and then search for share okay so as you can see you can get so many shares that you want so i want to choose this one over here and then click on insert now with the default um with the view i will choose um stack over here okay and then um yeah so if it is stuck over here then i can go to style over here and then i can you know change um anything that i want to change so with this one i want to just change this one to white or maybe just you know use the 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 default color or let's let me just change it to white okay i'm going to change this one to white and then change this one also to white okay and then um let me see okay so i'm going to use frame for this one okay so i'm going to use frame for this one instead of stack i'll use frame for this one okay and then it's going to be yeah circle and then with a the primary color let me see what will happen guys i don't know why it's not showing but um, you know sometimes elementor have that kind of glitch thing so what i want to do is i just want to update it okay and then refresh it and then see um if it comes back to normal okay so it still did not come back to normal but let's try and see why it didn't come back to normal so i'm gonna go over here again then let me just change the primary to a different color and see oh okay so if i change the primary to a different color it's going to work so now what we need to do is to remove the secondary okay so that we can change the primary to just white okay so basically that is it so i think i made a mistake so um just you know just edit the primary alone do not change the um secondary so what you're going to do is um now the thing is over here but if you look at this particular business card that we have over here um it is not it is over here okay 
so we are going to make it the same so what we're going to do is um we're going to go to advance so make sure that you are on you are on top of the icon or you've clicked on the icon over here okay and then go to advance over here and then um we want to change the position so with the position we want to say um absolute okay so make sure that i set the position to absolute now when you set the position to absolute it's going to be something like this okay so first of all let's go to content over here or the the style over here and change the the size of it so i'm going to give it like a 25 okay so now i can go to advance over here and then with the um position which is absolute okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to place it at the right side so it's going to be like this and then the offset okay so with the offset i'm going to give it like a 50 and then the um, vertical offset too i'm going to give it um 50 so it's going to be something like this or i can give it like um you know like a 40 okay so something like this and then 40 okay so it depends on how you want to give it and then also with the with the size you can reduce the size anyhow you want so if you want it like a 20 like this it's quite okay so guys as you can see um, everything is what is nicely done now we can also give it give this particular media carousel a border okay so um, we can go to style over here and then you know give it like a border width of one okay and then um, with the border color we can choose our color for it which will match everything that we do now we can click on update so now we are not done with with this yet okay so what we want to do is um we're going to click on this icon again and then we're going to go to content over here and then we want the pop-up we want to link this one to the pop-up so how do you do that now you see this one the link over here click on the dynamic tag over here and then um actions we have something we call actions over here so as you can see actions click on pop up okay and then with this um settings icon click on it and then as you can see it says what action open pop up so you can see close pop up toggle pop up whatever it is okay so you want it to open pop up and then with the um pop up you can select the kind of pop up that you want to so i want the contact pop up so as you can see you see share, uh, contact share okay so um i want to click on this one and then i'll be able to what i'll be able to update it so now if i want to view the page okay so let's say i want to view the page and see if everything is what is working before we come and work on this the mobile site so as you can see everything is what everything is working perfectly this is how it looks like okay so when i click over here you see that the pop-up shows over here and that is what exactly what we want and that is what very nicely done okay so when you click on it it shows over here and then you can wait you can close it okay and that is it so now the next thing that we need to do is to make sure that our um, digital business card is mobile responsive because a lot of people will use it on what on mobile and that's exactly what we want to do now you can even start from designing with the mobile straight away but we want everybody to have a feel of it whether you're using desktop or you're using tablet or mobile so we have to make sure that the the digital um business card is is mobile responsive so i'm going to click on this responsive um, button over here and then go to tablet so first of all i want to check it on tablet and see how it looks like now on tablet as you can see it's not really nice it's not looking um good okay so what we want to do is we want to make sure that it looks good on on tablet so we have to make sure that everything is is working fine okay so with this one we can just reduce the size a little bit so if you reduce this size a little bit then everything will be fine so when, let's go to um style over here and then um, i'm gonna go to contact or icon over here and then as you can see these are the icon really looks like okay so we can 
you know position it well or make sure that the icon fits in the tablet very well so um let me say 25 if you make it 25 it's going to be like this so i'm going to say maybe 30 will be quite okay and and then um i'll just reduce the size of the the text a little bit okay so i'm going to go to the content and then you know the typography um, instead of 32 i'm going to say maybe 25 okay uh yeah uh let me just leave it at the 32 just like that and then i'll just copy this one come over here and then paste style over here and then also paste style over here okay so you're gonna have something like that which is quite not good because it's too big okay for me so i still want to change it a little bit so what i'll do is um i'm gonna go to the content over here and then just change this one instead of 32 i'm gonna make it 25 okay go to the icon and then reduce this one also a little bit so um 25 is also quite okay then i can come over here and then copy this one come over here and then paste style come over here and then paste style okay now um we can give you know a spacing for for all of them so i can click over here go to it advance and then you know give it um a button pattern of let's say 10 okay the same way we do for this one give it a button pattern of 10 yeah 10 pixel okay so um, basically it's gonna be like this now um let me just push this one up now with this one i want to show all the um, i want to show three okay so i'll go to content of it and then the slide effect and um, with a slide per view i'm going to say um three so i want three to it to show okay so um you know basically um, i think this one is also what is also quite okay now what i want to do is i want to go to the mobile side okay and then this is how the mobile looks like which is not really good it is not good at all so we need to what, um, optimize it so that it will be mobile responsive okay so i'll click over here and change the style go to this place um instead of 30 i'll make it 14 okay also um with this one i'll come over here go to um instead of 30 i'll make it like a 25 and then um with this one also click this one go to advance over here and then just give it a bottom margin of 50 okay so that at least it's gonna be something um yeah okay so bottom margin of 50 is too much so let me say 30 okay so 30 is what is quite okay and then um with the text also i can go over here and then just give it you know um negative of 20 bottom of 20 okay so that there will be a little bit of space over here and then um with this one over here i'll reduce the size a little bit so i'll go to style over here and then instead of the 20 for it i'll say maybe 15 so 15 will be quite okay and then um i'll go to it advance over here and then with the you know the offset what i'm going to do is i'm just going to give it like a 20 okay and then also the top also 20 okay so basically i think um that one is also quite okay then we'll come over here and then go to style and then you know change um some of the things so the typography over here we're going to make it like a 14 okay or maybe 16 yeah and then the icon also we want to change it to um 
the icon 25 is too much so let's say 15 will be quite okay so 15 will be quite okay and then we'll go over here um let me see and then instead of you know the um how do you call it it's the position will make it left okay so make sure that the position is what is left and then after that i can just click and copy and then just paste the style over here now everything will work fine paste style and everything is going to work what fine okay so with this one also i can just click over here go to advanced now you see that we gave the top of 15 50 and then left 50 yeah so we can reduce um, unlink the margin over here and then just you know forget the top and then give the left of um maybe 25 okay so left of 25 yeah which is quite okay so i think everything is what everything is um, really falling in place everything is quite okay so we can even reduce the size um, the bottom margin of what of the text of the um, icon box over here so as you can see we give it um you know negative for, um, a bottom margin of what 10 pixels for the for the um tablet size so we want to what we want to remove it so just remove it and then um paste copy and paste the style for all of them okay so the last one is for us to do this particular one over here which um, we want to change the slide per view also to three so we want to change the slide per view also to three and as you can see it's quite okay and then also the the height also you can decide to reduce it if you want so um i want to say maybe 140 okay so 140 is what it's quite okay or maybe 135 or 130 anyhow so i think 130 is what is quite okay and then um what i want to do is i want to go to the main container okay the main one over here and then i'll go to it advanced um yeah the main container yeah so i'll go to oh is it not the main container yeah i'll go to it advanced and you see we give a top and bottom uh, uh, pattern so i'm going to remove those patterns over there so that it wouldn't um it wouldn't show so it's going to be something like this on the mobile um side okay which is very very nice so um the next thing is for us to also make sure that this one falls in the middle okay so the social icon over here wanted to make sure that it falls in the middle so we go to it advanced over here and instead of giving it a top of 38 we remove the top of 38 and then give it a negative um 20 or negative 25 so let's say 25 yeah so negative 25 is quite okay for it which is what which is very nice so now as you can see we've made it with mobile responsive which um everyone using mobile can be able to it can be able to use it so we will just update our website and now we can go to the website and refresh it and this is how it looks like okay very nicely done uh, if you go to inspect and then inspect it it should be mobile responsive just um sometimes it there is that kind of glitch that comes but then if if you change it 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 works sometimes you have to load for it to be able to work so as you can see it is falling in place one after the other which um is not supposed to be done so but i don't know why sometimes it works like that but it is mobile responsive okay it is mobile responsive you can change it to um you know any of the other um, how do you call it any of the other devices you can test it on your phone and it is what mobile responsive because i have checked it right now on my phone and it's everything is working perfectly fine i don't know why sometimes it happens like that and then also sometimes too it is from the um how do you call it 
the caching plugin so sometimes you can decide to cache um, clear cache and all those things but like i told you everything is working fine since it is mobile responsive over here it will be mobile responsive on wherever um, place on mobile that it goes so everything is working fine and everything um you 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 now you have your digital business card you can share with your friends and families okay thank you for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel um this is just a video about how you can be able to create your own digital business card that you can share it with your customers or any clients that you meet make sure that you do it and do it well thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye